Michael Brad again, Spirit Daily, and again for another one of our short little commentaries. Um, I said a little, let's keep it short. Last time I spoke to you, it was Eclipse Day, day of the great American eclipse that appeared right over head as we did the little video. Today I sit here in Florida as Hurricane Irma rolls towards us. Uh, fear? No fear with Christ. Um, will there be power outages? For sure. Destruction? Yes. I note uh, the indications with such things and, and the signs. For example, Hurricane Harvey, less than a week after the eclipse, most expensive man natural disaster in U.S. history which was just a mere week after that eclipse. Not even a week. Folks, we've even forgotten about the flooding of Houston by now. America's fourth biggest city because we're preoccupied with Irma. The eclipse was on August 21st. Harvey popped up into prominence on the 25th of the month and then started its flooding, massive flooding, the following day, which was the 26th. Those who like to play with numbers and synchronicity can point to Luke chapter 21, verses 25 and 26 about signs in the sky and signs in nature. This is quote, this is a quote from uh, Rabbi Winston who studies prophecy from a Jewish standpoint. Quote, this is the end of an era for America. The righteous Christians still have salvation in America. They're getting a wake-up call that they're about to go through a very difficult time. It is a call for shuva, is the term, end quote. A time of trial, cleansing. Well, take it for what it's worth, but discernment of current events is urgent. Look, uh, as I say in a recent special report on Spirit Daily, we're now into it. The words of those, that's, those are the words of those who have had prophecies and, and is certainly believable. Especially it's believable when we consider that in ancient times an eclipse was seen as a harbinger of war and a name Harvey means war ready. And the old German for Irma means war goddess. This all comes, of course, at a time when North Korea is testing a hydrogen bomb, a thermonuclear bomb, and launching a test missile right over Japan. Meanwhile, in Japan, on Mary's birthday, September 8th, yesterday as I speak, Friday, September 8th, a quake shook the prefecture of Akita in Japan, where in 1973, Mary warned a nun that there were great approaching chastisements, including the distinct possibility of millions dying with great fire falling from the sky if there was not conversion. That was Japan. Well, you know, the same day, September 8th, now 2017, the same day as that earthquake in Akita, under where the apparitions allegedly occurred, the same day a hurricane and the most powerful quake in a century both hit Mexico home to Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of the Americas, 
who arrived, by the way, the year of Halley's Comet. It was also the year of a total eclipse. By the way, the, the name feast days for Irma are September 18th, which is the anniversary of Our Lady appearing in the 19th century at La Salette in the French Alps, warning that the earth was going to give convulsions with, quote, water and fire. And also the name day for October 13th, ironically, the anniversary of the great Fatima miracle and the final formal apparition there. <laughs> uh, all those fires in the West, coincidence. I love coincidences. They are so interesting. The question now, as I sit here in Florida, as I stepped over some sandbags that are there in case we get some of the rain they project for my area, 10 to 15 inches near St. Augustine, where we moved some years back for spiritual reasons. As I sit here with a calm day and even the sun out behind me, Irma brews, Irma approaches. Coincidences. Lots of things going on. A lot more people than usual taking a look at them. Coincidences are so interesting. My question today is, are they also prophetic? This is Michael Brown, and we'll have another report shortly.